Hello, this is Sally from Little Betty Print. Um, this is a tutorial to show you how to make the tulip bunting, which you can see here. So I'm going to do it really quickly because I've already done the tulip one, so if you need to go through it a bit slower, you can always follow that one. Um, I'm going to whiz through this. The only difference is that you won't need any scissors to make the bunting, so you don't need to make any cuts in the paper. Um, what you will need um, is something like a pencil, or I'm using a crochet hook, something that you can use just to twirl the, the petals at the end, um, which gives it this little curl on the end of your paper there so that's the only thing you'll need plus you'll need um, a big needle like a good darning type needle um, I've got this one and then I'm actually going to use really technical a toothpick or a cocktail stick or something like that just because I'm going to use it to make the hole a bit bigger in the paper towards the, that'll be towards the end, but I'm going to show you how to fold the tulip first. So, if you can't keep up, you can always stop me, pause it, or follow the, follow the other origami tulip tutorial. So, first of all, just folding completely in half. And again, the other way. So these are all pre-folds, so you can flatten it back out again afterwards and start from the square shapes. And again, diagonally in half. And the other way. Fold each of the corners into the middle. Just a little tip, it's best to have a little gap, if you can, between each of these sides where they join up. It just makes it easier in the next stage to fold it. But don't worry about being too accurate because it won't make much difference to your flower at the end. Just going to go over those folds. Okay, we have a little square now. So, staying on this side, you need to fold it in half. this corner and flatten it down. And then turn over. And we'll do the same thing on this side. take this corner here and I'm going to fold it in a bit below the centre. Uh, you don't have to be too accurate with this fold. Just make sure you don't go over that centre crease. I'm on a very wobbly stool here so it's not the best. Okay, now join the other corner to it. Then actually, I've left a little gap in between, 
stage, just make it easier in the next stage. Okay, and then turn over and you want to do the same again on this side. So use the use the line underneath and just use that as a as a gauge for where to fold it. And the same again. Okay, just pinch those together. And then we're going to fold those two together and those two sides together where you've just folded, which gives you a plain side on either side there. And then the last fold, kind of more of a bend than a fold, if you just take this bottom corner and you just want to try and bend that over a bit. And what that does is just holds everything in place while you open up the flower stops it unfolding. So you won't fold it flat but it doesn't need to be flat, it just needs to have a little dent in it so that it holds all holes together. Just using my thing, my thumbnail underneath to make to start it off. Okay, and then we can open it up. So if you just wiggle your finger inside, and then just push out all those four folds, the four sides. Turn in and keep pushing it out. You'll feel it pop up when it goes. And then push your finger into the, the corners so that it opens out nice. Okay. The fold should be nice and flat on the inside. And then you can take your pencil, crochet hook in my case, and just place it underneath the edge of the petal and then just roll it around there uh, using your thumb and your finger. Just give it a little curl. You don't have to do this stage if you'd rather it was just flat, that's fine. Okay. And now you can thread it onto your twine. So I've got a few already ready on. So I'm going to do it through across this way so that the folds go on the side rather than on the front and you get the plain pattern on the front. So just using your needle, just pierce through there. And then I'm going to make that hole just a little bit bigger so that the thread goes through a little bit easier and we don't tear the paper. So just follow where you've just been with your needle. If you've got a really nice chunky needle you won't be able, you won't need to do this stage. Just pull it through gently. 
Okay, so then you don't lose your thread. do is hang them up and have a drink, invite friends round into the garden when we can and have some fun and hope the weather stays nice. So any questions just pop them in the comments underneath but uh, have fun and thanks for watching, bye!